Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shweta and uh, for those of you who have joined me for the first time, I request you to uh, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my uh, videos in future. And uh, I welcome you all once again to Dhatri Handicrafts channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you um, the best way to make terracotta jhumkas. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible so that the people who are going to do it for the first time don't get overwhelmed. So uh, before we begin, I would like to tell you the materials that are required for this. Uh, we need a mold. This is actually quilling mold and we can use the same for making jhumkas as well. Then we need a board where we can uh, easily work with the clay. And then I have this tiny tool, uh, which I will tell you the purpose of this tool later. We need a knife. This is a blunt knife that I'm using. And uh, I suggest you use a blunt knife too. We need some pliers. I have all sorts of pliers here. But for this one, we need a round nose plier and a cutting plier. Then we have this nichrome wire. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a nichrome wire is, it's uh, a uh, highly heat resistant uh, wire which is uh, which can be easily found in hardware shops you can purchase it from there okay let's begin then and of course we need the clay to make the jewelry so i'm going to take a little bit of clay i'll keep the tools aside i'll take them as and when it is required So to start off, first you need to squeeze out a little bit of clay, make a rough ball out of it. I've taken a little bit of oil as well, you can take use any kind of oil, I have used coconut oil over here. So we need to grease one of the molds. I like this uh, size, so I'm going to use this one. So it's the eight one. Eight the slot from the smallest slot you need to take enough clay to cover the entire slot make a tiny ball and make a ball and gently push it in now you need to make sure that it is pushed in very well so that there are no creases left now using the knife i'm going to t scrape out the excess clay like this now once that that is done you have a semicircle like this just smoothen it out and then because we had applied the oil and we had already greased it we can easily scoop it out like this like this so so you have the basic uh, shape of jhumka over here. Now it has quite a lot of creases so we can smoothen that with using a little bit of water. I'm going to dampen my finger using the water. I'm gen gently going to rub it up like this. So you can see that the creases are disappearing already. And I'm going to do that all around. We have to make sure that the surface is completely smooth. Okay, much better. And now we can put a, a hook over here and make the jhumka, but it will be pretty heavy. So in order to make it lightweight, we have to scoop out the excess clay from underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool. Okay. Now these are pottery tools. You can get it anywhere. You can order it from Amazon as well. I'm just gen I'm going to apply a little bit of oil over here. And then I'm going to make a mark all around it. Like this. For me this method works really well. And once that mark is made, you know that you're not going to go beyond this mark and ruin the jhumka. So now all I'm going to do is hold the jhumka uh, with your palm. Just squeeze a little bit and so that you can hold it thoroughly. 
and then just run the tool through that mark around that mark and then once the clay starts coming out you can just hold it and then squeeze it out completely just twist it a little bit and you can take it out like this we'll let the other part remain inside now it you see that it has already lost the shape and that usually happens after we scoop out the excess clay so don't worry about it we can uh, fix it later I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, water once again so that I can remove the creases that have appeared now now what I'm going to do is I'm again going to grease the same slot where I had put the jhumka in and then place the jhumka back into the same slot and this time I'm going to use a sorry about that I'm going to use this kind of tool it's actually a ball tool pen which is usually used for uh, dot mandalas there's an art called dotalism and people use this kind of tool for that so we're going to use this tool so that we can smooth in the surface like this smooth in the inside of it I'm going to press it once again so that we have the jhumka in proper shape I'm scooping it out again now you can see that it is in good shape now comes the part where you you start uh, putting some sort of designs so here I'm going to make a simple design so that it becomes easy for me to explain as well for this design I'm just going to use two items that is a, a sketch pen cap and of course my knife so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark with a sketch pen so it gives a nice round mark right on top of the bujumka you can feel free to experiment with different designs so you can make an impression using a lot of tools which are easily available at home you can use the refills uh, you can use anything that has a nice texture on it okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put straight marks all around the jhumka like this I always um, make a plus before I proceed so that I can space them out evenly so I'm going to put the next straight mark over here first plus mark and then I would go diagonally so that uh, the lines are equally spaced making jewelry out of uh, terracotta clay is very satisfying because uh, it's so such a versatile form of art there are hundred things you can do you can make home decoration stuff you can make jewelry eco-friendly that's the best part about it you will not have any regrets using the clay at all it's eco-friendly and not very harmful to the environment that's what we want after all okay I have made a simple design now what I plan to do is after it after it dries and after it, after it is fired I'm going to um, you know use um, colors alternatively for example if I use black and golden I'm going to put a black put black color over here golden here black here golden here and alternatively so that will give it a beautiful look and now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put some beads all around it that will give it a very elegant look so I'll just sh show you how to make those uh, tiny beads as well and these are the beads that I'm going to insert and it will give it a nice look so I'll show you how to make these tiny uh, lollipop type type of beads okay for that again you need to take a little bit of clay squeeze out a little bit of clay like this gently roll out 
I've already shown in my previous video as to how you can make a perfect round shaped bead. So that's the same method we're going to use here as well. I'm going to uh, roll it in all directions. Okay, this looks good. Now what I'm going to do is take the nichrome wire and cut out a stick out of it. A long Okay, this is the approximate uh, length and insert it right in the middle. Now I'm not going to be using this particular bead for this jhumka as of now because it's still wet and uh, if I try to insert it either the needle would come out from the other end or what might happen is I might end up distorting the shape of either the jhumka itself or the bead. So basically we have to let uh, the lollipop, I would call it lollipop beads, these beads or you can also call them stick beads, these beads to dry thoroughly. So I'm just going to keep this aside, this was just for your reference. I've already made uh, quite a few beads of that sort so I'm going to just insert them and show you how, how the jhumka looks once they're inserted. I see a lot of creases over here so I'm just going to smoothen out the entire surface so that it looks professional. If the shape gets distorted don't worry you, we can always fix it. Now I'm going to start inserting the beads all around it. I would again go in the same order that I did uh, to put the lines first plus and then diagonal now because we have enough space to put two beads I'm going to insert two beads in each gap you can always adjust the beads if uh, some of them require a little more space Terracotta jewelry is a lengthy process but the end results are always beautiful. It takes a lot of time to prepare. First of all it has to dry properly and then we have to fire it for at least two to three hours. And then once it is properly fired we have to color it. I use acrylic paints. We need to paint them and then we need to varnish them so that the paint doesn't chip out. Okay, so that's about it. Now that we have uh, the beads placed in uh, pro properly, now the last thing that we're going to do is insert a, a tiny U-pin over here so that we can insert the hooks. So I'm going to show you how to make those uh, U-pins as well. I'm again going to take my nichrome wire hold it and gently bend it this, this way and then cut out snip off the excess so you have this shape now all we have to do is insert it right in the center like this. So our uh, jhumka is ready. Now we need to repeat the process to make a pair and I'll quickly pause the video and I'll show you how the pair actually looks. Okay after completing the second pair using the same method sorry second jhumka you make a wonderful pair of jhumkas let me give you a closer look I 
i hope you liked the way these jhumkas are made and i hope uh, all of you will definitely try making your own terracotta jhumkas you can either keep them for yourself or you can gift them to someone that you love and uh, and i'm sure you will enjoy making it by yourself thank you for joining me once again and uh, hope you have a wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye